What up, Cyclone? All right, so this is probably going to be kind of brief, um, just because I already recorded like a 25 minute thing and it did not say. So I've talked a lot, I'm very tired, I have a lot to do, but I really want to be able to get this done and up. So uh, once again, I'm We Built the Pyramids, I'm doing the Hiatus Fan Inner 2, which is clever, thank you. Um, that um, Alley Cat came up with, so again, thank you for that. Um, I really like that you guys enjoyed doing this the first time. I wasn't, I was kind of new in the fandom when I came up with the first one, and I was like, I don't know how they're going to take to this, but I'm so glad we're doing a second one, because I find these things so fun. Um, so, yeah, that's the long and the short of what I blabbed about earlier. So, getting on to the questions. Did you enjoy the finale? What did you like about it? Overall view, etc. I loved the finale. It's probably my favorite episode after Domino's. Um, I love just, there's, there was so much love in that episode. Like, between Walter and the team, between the team and each other. It was just, I, I can't even begin to articulate it or I might start, start crying. Um, but I loved everything about it. I loved Happy and Toby's sass. Um, I love how Walter and Cabe just kind of overcame everything so easily. I love the end, season, the end scene in the hospital where they kind of affirmed, like, we're a family. Um, it was beautiful on so many levels, and I'm so glad that we got it. It was wonderful. Um, it was a really nice way to end. Um, after watching the finale, has your insight into what you think will happen in season two changed? I did think that Quintus was going to take a little while to get back to where they were, but I feel like they're there now. Excuse me. Um, I wasn't expecting that Cave would be able to record anymore, so, like, they're going to have to deal with that now. Um, so that's different than what I expected. But other than that, I don't really think, like, um, excuse me, it's one of the parental units. Um, I really did feel like, um, uh, what I thought before is, how did you discover the show? What part did you become a fully fledged cyclone? Okay, discover the show last summer with the previews. I thought it was really interesting. Um, I um, already watched the Big Theory and seeing like the socially inept geniuses in a um, I hate this word, in a drama fashion, in a drama situation. I was really excited to see. Um, I, I said this in the fan interview, but, um, you know, I watched the pilot, I watched Cyclone, I watched part of Talismans, I watched Dominoes, I watched Killing Screen, I watched a handful of them, um, as they aired, but because it's my last semester at the university, and it was the beginning of my last year when the show started airing, um, I graduated on May 9th, yay, um, I, uh, you know, was kind of prioritizing having watched multiple shows that were in one season, like Firefly and go on. Um, I was like, you know, I don't know if it's going to get picked up again, or if it's going to be a full season, I need to prioritize who will remain attached to a new show. Um, but then after the next month of February, in February, and after it just destroyed my soul, like, it did something two weeks before the finale that just the entire show was just a bad taste in my mouth. And I hate that, um, because I, I love that show since it started airing in 2008, I never missed an episode, and I was really kind of heartbroken, I felt betrayed, um, I was really angry, I was getting, you know, I was really getting my feminist on, and, um, I needed a distraction, and my spring break came just a couple weeks after that finale, and about a month after the event that shall not be talked about, um, and my dad was on Scorpion because him and my mom have been like since the pilot watching religiously you know they don't have homework when they get home they don't have studying so they can um uh watch tv um so says the person who claims she doesn't have time to watch tv but watches everything all the time but I was uber focused at the beginning of the year um so um by the time my spring break came around we'd had 17 episodes there uh, so I watched those over my spring break, and then I started getting involved on Tumblr, and because this fandom is so great, I was welcomed instantly. Thank you, guys. Um, I'm sitting at a really awkward angle here, but oh well. Um, okay, next question. Which scene of season one made you cry the most? <sighs> Dominoes. I know it's not a scene. No. Um, okay, so 
stuff in Domino's because there was a kid involved and we got Walter's emotions and that really got to me. Like when he thought he was not going to be able to go back down there and get him and he got like so frustrated and like ran toward the water. I was just, I was losing it. Um, another scene that made me cry was the Walter and Paige fight in Cliffhanger because, you know, I, neither of them were really in the wrong. You know, she was freaked out because of her kid and rightly so. He was having such an emotionally draining day, and now he was getting hit with this too, and so it was just really bad timing for both of them, and they were both clearly so upset, like, it broke my heart. Um, and then Ralph just destroyed me in the finale, like, him on the phone, I promise my call will be efficient, and then when he started crying in the car, oh my god, I was, I was a complete mess. I'm so glad that for that second when my roommate was here, um, to comfort me, even though she was really kind of like oh my god too even though that was her first episode but then she watched she caught up in the next like three days she watched all of season one and so now i get to talk to her about stuff and it's great um all right so which scene made you laugh the hardest ralph dressing like walter and happy and toby kind of like spoon feeding to Paige what was happening and um just how they like both had their hands on their hips with the same expression it's just, like, so cute how much he wants to emulate Walter, because I may have, I can relate to that, because my favorite character on The Mentalist, who is the character that caused my rage because of the way that she exited the show, um, I might, my, my professional outfit may look almost exactly Like your Alfie boy there. Um, favorite OCT moments for your shift, whatever it may be. Okay. Um, I'll pick a page. There's so many pages. Um, there's one I think is the awkward Alfie boy. You know because I've already recorded this. Um, okay, so him handing her the note to talk to Ralph about Orion's belt in the second episode. Said that. Um. The, um, Toby's wage board. A lot of what I really like about wage is the characters reacting to them rather than, like, stuff that they're doing themselves, even though that's great, too. But, like, I loved, like, more than watching them dance. Because watching them dance was funnier to me. Like, because I was watching, like, it was kind of, like, flashing back between them and Sylvester, and he's, like, freaking the crap out. Um, but I loved the psychiatrist being like, Walter, this is what happened. This is why it happened. Uh, check and mate. So, um, I loved that. Um... I loved her trying to teach him how to flirt just because, like, that fierce look on his face, like, and he thinks that that's flirting back. I'm like, you're adorable. Um, let's see what else. Is this the parental unit again? More wage scenes. Um, I really enjoyed... Okay, there are going to be awkward pauses. <laughs> I really enjoyed the words that she said to him in the last scene. Um, I'm with those who felt that the kiss was kind of... Could have been done better. Um, I'll just leave it at that. I'm not enraged, but I'm uncomfy. But um, yeah, I really like just how she said, like, you know... She wasn't apologizing to him because she didn't have to apologize to him. She did nothing wrong. Um, but, you know, she did say, like, look, she was basically saying, I don't regret our conversation. I don't regret that I'm putting my son first. But, you know, if we'd never talked again and, like, our last conversation that we ever would have had had been that conversation, that would have just broken my heart. Is essentially what she was saying. And so um, she's saying, like, I'm glad that we will have the opportunity to move past that. Um so I really enjoyed that. That was one of my favorite dialogues. Um, I also liked him admitting to her that he likes the sound of her voice, both, like, when he was with Seema and at the end of the episode when he, like, flat out said it to her face. Like, that was really sweet and really made me go, like, oh, my God. Um, and then I loved when he gave her the water and was making, like, such a big deal about how she was getting the same as everyone else. And she's just sort of looking at him like, I don't know where you're coming from with this. Like, I'm not sure how to translate this because I don't understand. Um, 
yeah, so there's a lot of, like, more subtle wage stuff that I liked. Um, favorite quotes. So many. Um, ladies, get in the van. Not the first time I've said that. I slept on taco grease getting out of the van, and when I fell, the ferret with the venom got away. That's the first time anyone's ever said that. Um, oh, look, he thinks he's people. Um, everything happy said in the finale to the police officer. Um, just Sylvester fanboying in general. Um, Paige asking, what do you get a guy with 197 IQ? Definitely not this stuff. Um... Ralph, when he was down in the incinerator column, and Paige, like, saw him, he was freaking out, he was just, Mom, I'm almost done! Like, just saving the world, no big deal, Mom, just give me a sec. One hot sec here, I got it all taken care of, it's under control. Um, like, he wasn't even, like, don't be mad at me, or, oh my god, this is bad, or whatever, just almost done, I figured it out, I know what to do, saving the world, I'm Ralphie boy. Um, also... The people on that other ship in Love Boat, where they were like, code name Ralphie Boy, and then you just see Ralph. Um, and then earlier in that episode, when Happy and Toby were having that conversation with Ralph, and then it kind of switched to them, and oh, maybe he's the best friend she's ever had, and maybe he should wait, or how long should he wait? And then Ralph's just like, I really don't know what we're talking about anymore. Um, and then Love Ralph, that was pretty good. Um, much so many things are wonderful um or when they were playing in charades when they were playing charades and then Cabe walks in and they're like Cabe play charades and he's just like never again and I'm like okay they didn't know Cabe before the pilot so at some point while the show was airing they convinced Cabe Gallo to play charades with them and I really wish we would have seen that um favorite team moment aka moments when the team are together and being their most awesome definitely the end of postcards from the edge in the scene in the hospital waiting room when they were telling alia like you know how it just flashed to all of them saying nope when he invited them and then Paige being like this is our official statement because you know that's how Paige is um oh sad another moment that made me laugh a lot was ralph and happy swapping reading material but anyway um that scene at the end was really good for them and it was just them saying like you know, it's like people have made those gift sets with the quote from Lilo and Stitch, this is my family, I found it all on my own, it's little and broken, but still good. It's like, even though they weren't working together well at the end of the last episode, beginning of this episode, they were kind of disjointed. At the end of the day, literally at the end of the day, haha, um, they were telling him, you know, we are us, we're not you. And that was just a beautiful moment to me. Um... How do you think season two will start, time jump scene-wise, etc.? I think it's going to start at the garage, unless it starts, like, setting up the case they're going to do, like, at the beginning of, like, Criminal Minds or CSI or something. Um, I think there will be a time jump in the sense that it won't pick up, like, the next morning. I think that, um, but at the same time, I feel like their first case of season two will have been their first official case since Cliffhanger, because Postcards from the Edge, that was an internal issue because it involved Walter, but, like, the next time they're, like, commissioned for a job, um, I think that that will be, you know, they won't have been back to work and have done a bunch of stuff that we didn't see, um, because they're gonna have to figure out the new dynamics, because things have changed. Um, top five things you want to see in season two, choose only five and explain why. Okay, drunk Walter, Walter in footy pajamas, I know it's not gonna happen, but a girl can dream, um, I want to see more Megan and Ralph. Um, I want to see more of Mama Paige, so Paige and Ralph together being mother-daughter. Mother-son. Sorry, Ralph. Um, and my fifth thing, I think I want to see more crossover, like when, uh, um, you know, Hetty from NCIS Los Angeles was on Scorpion. I would like to see someone else from that show maybe show up. That'd be cool. Um, so that's my five. There's more, but it said only five, and I will listen to Alley Cat. Um, top three recurring or guest characters you want to see return next season. Okay. I want to see Maya because she was great, and she fit really well with them, and I feel like if they were doing some, like, international type thing, maybe she could help. I want to see Owen, because he is basically the same age as Ralph, um, 
and he was really smart and he could they could cross paths with him again and I want to see I feel terrible I don't remember her name but those of you that follow me on tumblr or track the tag on tumblr or follow the people that were reblogging for me on tumblr to add the conversation know that I'm really interested in what Walter was like in his previous relationship why he was in it um you know, whether it was an experimental thing or whether he, like, was like, oh, maybe I like this person or, you know, whatever happened. Um, and she seemed really interesting to me. Um, she's not someone I would want to be back, like, all the time, but I definitely, even if it was in flashback form, I want to see, like, exactly what Walter was like as to what he was like at BP. Um, so, yeah, those are the three guest characters I'd want to see again. And then bonus question, favorite Giffers, fic writers of the Cyclone, or just share overall praise, what you would like to see more of on Tumblr, aka more fan out, more AUs, more gifts of certain kind, etc. Um, well, I've read a lot of Allie's stuff. She's really good. Um, I really like the little dravels that we've gotten. I haven't really read anything long. There have been a couple I've started. Um, but probably my favorite thing that's written on Tumblr was the um, Two Baby with Motherly Love by um, Northern Girl Child. Um, Northern Girl Child, yeah, that was it. Um, where she's talking about, like, how Paige is noticing the differences in Ralph and how much she loves the team and all that other stuff like that. It just gave me so many feels. It's probably my favorite individual thing. Um, but I love everybody, really. Like, all the gifts. Cats' gifts are great. Um... I can never remember if Haley gifts or just reblogs the gifts onto FBS Scorpion, but I think she gifts too, because I think I've seen ones that were just made by that account, and so I really like those. Um, but honestly, I've reblogged gifts from so many people. Like, I love them so much. Like, I love gifts. I'm a gift person, and um, I, uh, I've loved everything I've seen. It's all been really exciting. So, um... I want to call more of you out and do shout outs, but there's just, it's not like I can't, it's not like there's nothing good. It's that, it's not like nothing is really standing out or not much is standing out because there isn't anything good. It's like, it's literally all good. So how do I pick? Um, but yeah, I really love everything. Like this fandom is great. This fandom is talented. This fandom is like so cool at just making everything. I haven't slept, so not because y'all are boring. Um, yeah, so I really, I love Allie's stuff. I love Haley's stuff. I love Kat's stuff. Um, there's a lot of you I don't know your first names, but I love your stuff. Trust me. Um, everyone I've been talking to about theories and about crack stuff, like, it's been fantastic. I've loved, I watched every single fan interview, um, and I loved all of that. Um, just everyone has such creative minds, and I think it's really kind of cool that, you know, I'll say most of us because I don't know. Um, you know, most of us are not geniuses. But us with, like, the EQ, we love a show about IQ so much. Like, I think that's really cool. And it kind of says a lot about the show and the characters, too. Because, I mean, they have EQ. Like, I think Allie said that this, the finale should have been called, like, Eulogies from the Edge. And I was joking it should be called EQ from the Edge. But, like, you know, we're such, like, an EQ-focused group. Even if we do have some, like, left brain tendencies. Like me, like... I won't go into why, but when Walter was saying he scheduled the breakup on a job to be more efficient, it took me probably a week and a half to realize that that was supposed to be, like, a joke, a comedic moment, like, where we're laughing at him, because I would totally do the same thing, and I, like, have a really long reasoning why, based on, like, fuel efficiency, time efficiency, mood, in driving to a place you'd already been to, or close to another place you'd already been to after a long day, makes you more likely to, like, be short-tempered and escalate, and, like, all that other stuff, um, but yeah, the fandom is such a wide range, and so there's a lot of different quotes that come out of gifting, there's a lot of different, you know, types of art or writing or pop culture references or whatever, so that's all really cool. Um, so there's really nothing much that's like a favorite just because it's all so top quality. So that's my little hiatus in or two. Um, which I actually didn't get how clever it was until I spoke it out loud the first time I was recording this. I was reading it as, like, interwo, and I was like, wait, why is this funny? I feel so bad. And then I'm like, inner two, it rhymes with interview, and it's the second one. That's amazing. That's brilliant. Good job. Um, yeah, I took an IQ test. It gave me a 143. Not accurate. I am 
Like, it took me a long time to figure that out. Like, no, it's not a thing. But, uh, yeah, so those are my answers. I'm really looking forward to reading. I don't know if anyone else has uploaded them yet, but I'll check. And then I'm really looking forward to reading what other people are not reading. Why do I keep saying reading? See, this is my IQ is not accurate. Um, to watching what everybody else has to say. And maybe we can do something else like this later in the summer. If we can come up with, like, maybe, like, oh, if they tease storylines for next season, we can make predictions. That would be so much fun. I would totally be willing to start that if no one else wanted to. You know, once Comic-Con and stuff happens, they better go to Comic-Con again this year. Now I'm just rambling, so I'm going to say bye, and I uh, hope you guys liked hearing me fangirl for 20 minutes.